Oh, the freaking the music. All right, you guys. So I wanted to, you all to see the wine store. Well, it's a wine liquor store, I guess. It's really a wine store because it's Happy Cork, so it's a wine store. It's black owned, and they have black owned wine and liquor vendors and on the site they do show like what products are of black owned so i really really like that um fact is that you don't have to do the research yourself they already do the research and they put it you know when you go look at the different um wines and liquors it will say black owned across the product and so I really like that. And I did go ahead and I bought three bottles of wine, all, you know, from Black Vendors. And they are some celebrity based wines that I did buy because I just wanted to try it. Um, but I will be back there again and I will go ahead and buy some more of the wines and the liquors that they have. I wanted to buy champagne but the champagne was a little more than i wanted to spend right now so i did not get it but you know in the new year you know i'll go ahead and definitely i will be ordering again i know where the place is they as well they have delivery service and i think the delivery service is like 4.99 so it's very reasonable um but like i said i wanted to come and i wanted to see the place um for myself and so yeah so um, like I said, when I get home, I will show you all what I have gotten and I will do a little taste testing for you guys to let you all know what I think about these particular wines, especially because they, you know, I do have two that are um, celebrity based wines. But that's not something I'm going to do on a regular basis because I do want to go ahead and support like smaller businesses. Um, I'm not trying to make celebrities richer than, you know, they already are when there are people out there that, you know, are trying to grow themselves to a certain level and they don't have celebrity status. And so, yeah. All right, so I am back home. I wanna show you guys two things. Well, okay, I'm gonna show you guys the wines that I brought. Let me make some space on this table because this table is such a freaking mess. Like seriously. All right, hold on you guys. Let me clean up, let me clear this table. All right, so let me show you all on the wines that I have. Okay, so the first one I have is the Sun Goddess, and some of you all may know that Mary J. Blige basically is, I guess, partnered with this company, um, and yeah, so it's considered a black-owned wine because she... I'm not really sure. I need to probably do more research as far as if this is her vi her um if this is her vineyard and that she produces it straight from her own, you know, wine, her own company or is she partnered with someone else? So I'm going to do some more research on that, but it is stated as a black owned wine. So I did want to try this. I've been trying to get this for a very long time um but i was trying to find somewhere that sold it locally so now i found the person selling it locally so if i like it i will definitely be buying it again so sun goddess pinet grigio and so that's that one then i have three by wade i thought this was by um both gap and wade but it's just by wade and we all know it's Dwayne Wade. And so I seen this and this is another one that I've been wanting to try um, pretty much for a very long time. I didn't know what the name of it was or anything like that. I just knew that they produced wine. And so I've been wanting to try it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one as well. And then last but not least, 
maybe a lot of people probably seen this one as well black girl magic I'm not really sure about the owner I do know that it is sisters um and that they do you know this is their wine they're not sponsored or they're not um, promoting it with anyone this is their actual company that they you know make their own wine and things like that and so I definitely want to try this one and so yeah so that those are the three that I I've gotten and basically all of these are like 20 between 20 and 24 dollars so they were very reasonable priced wines and I did get a ten dollar off for my first sign up with happy cork so I thought that was like really good and because you get ten dollars off of I believe it's 50 and so yeah so I think that was really freaking good but all right so let me go ahead and try it let me go get my cork so I can uncork all three of them and let me go get my glass so I can pour myself some wine Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try the Sun Goddess first. All right, so um, it's not bad. Is it a wine that I would reach for on an everyday basis? It's not really sweet. Um, it just have like a tint. It's not dry, dry, but it's not sweet. To me, it's not sweet at all, but maybe to some people who prefer dry wines, it would be maybe a little sweeter to them. But to me, it's not it's not sweet at all. So, um, so yeah, but it's okay. Like it's you know, it's it's a good wine. Like I, it is really good. Like I like the taste of it. That's probably like a wine that I need to start picking up instead of the more, you know, sweeter type of wine. So yeah, Sun Goddess, it's not bad. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and, cause ladies first, I'm gonna go ahead and try the Black Girl Magic Red Blend. So let's see. Oof. Um, now this one is really dry. And not only is it dry, let me see what the alcohol content is on it. This has a 13.5 alcohol content. And what is this one? On the Sun Goddess, I'm trying to see what the alcohol content is on it. 
this one has a 12.5 and even though it's not that much the the content the alcohol content is not that much higher it tastes like it's really is high it tastes like a really high alcohol content so i'm going to say i really um I'm not really like an alcohol type of person. And so whew, yeah, this one would take some getting used to for me. Like ooh, I don't know. This is this is this is strong. This is really really strong and it's just not my glass of wine to be honest like this is for someone who is might be transitioning from alcohol to a wine this might be for that person but i'm not i don't i'm not particularly fond of alcohol so i do not like this um the black girl magic red blend so but like i said i'm you know it's not bad it's just very strong I feel like we I would usually be able to main two glasses of wine, small glasses of wine. I will only be able to have one glass of this. So maybe that would be saving me money, but um I don't know. But it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's just a bit dry for me, so so now that we have taken care of the ladies let's get to the male which is Dwayne Wade's wine again it is three by Wade ahead and try it okay so let me see what the alcohol content is on this particular wine before I Okay, so this one has a 13%. And pretty much the content of alcohol that they have, you can pretty much taste it. You can pretty much tell in each one. Let's just say that. You can tell um, which one has the least and which one has the most. Um, the Dwayne Wade, they all pretty much are dry. They're not, none of them are sweet tasting wines. Me personally, I prefer a sweet tasting wine. Um, but let me switch, do this again. Let's see. <coughs> this one has a really like flowery taste. I'm gonna say it tastes. It's tart. It's a bit tart. Let's just say that as well. It's a bit tart. It's dry. Um, it's not sweet. Um, but it's again, this is the, probably the type of wine that I would need to start drinking instead of the sweet tasting wines. And so, and I need to stop. I need to get away from the red wine. Let's just say that again, because my teeth they're starting to show the red wine and things like that. And so. The Sun Goddess and the Three by Wade, they're not bad. The Black Girl Magic Red Blend, um, it's not my particular wine. Like I said, that's probably more for a person who, you know, is more, um, you know, into a higher alcohol content, which I am not. Um, but all three of them are pretty good wines. Like, you know, I'm not a wine connoisseur by any means. I've been drinking wine probably now for about 12 years. But just like with my books, you know, I will try 
all new wines. I'm not the type of person that is stuck on one particular wine. I mean, I do love a particular taste in wine, but I'm not stuck on just, you know, only, you know, on one wine and that's it. So I will try them all if I can, if I can afford it. And so, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try some more wines. I am. And I'll let you guys know which ones I like. And right now, they're just going to be from black-owned wine makers. I will say that. And once I finish, you know, trusting all of their wines, because we don't really have many, um, I can move into, you know, other wines. And I'm not saying that. I'm just like, you know, I'm... listen wine is where is that okay but all right so that's it you guys thank you all for watching this small little segment of my wine tasting and um look out for more of these type of videos because your girl she gonna be whining and she gonna be rolling and whining let's just say that rolling and whining rolling and whining because you guess what she has no children under the age of 18 so uh, i am mm, getting my life back so it's a beautiful thing i'm loving it i'm excited to see all the things that i can do now that you know basically i've raised two responsible young ladies and so yeah <laughs> You listen, look out for the breakout, okay? That's what I'm going to tell y'all. Look out for the breakout. But anyway, so, later you guys. I love you all.